Hi, I want to talk to you a little bit about shoulder turn in your golf swing. I know a lot of you have problems with understanding how that works. I got a real easy fix for you. Uh, it comes from Sam Sneed and Hogan did it. Everybody who plays well and kills the ball, this is what they do. And it's not anything about throwing pianos or being all you know, trying to be strong and using your forearms and your upper body. This is simply about physics and making a good shoulder turn. So you get into a setup, square to your target, right in this area. I'm going to set this down for a second. Let's assume this is your club face right here. Target's that way. Okay, so we want to go. We want to make a 90 degree shoulder turn. A lot of you guys do this. Do that shoulder turn. That's not a shoulder turn. This is a shoulder turn. 90 degree shoulder turn, and it's simply a step over to the right side. Over, and if you're left handed, obviously it goes the other way. But we're going to go this way since I'm right handed. Most of you that are watching this are right handed. So we're going to go here. If you really want a big, big, long John Daly turn, you reach back here. Notice my head and everything just follows over here, but my chin gets over my right foot. All my weight gets over here on this side. And then I'm going to turn back cool this way. I'm going to throw my hands up in the air. I'm going to throw them down at the ball. I don't know who told us to hit down on the ball. Somebody who sells a lot of golf lessons, obviously. That's like NASA telling them to aim your rocket at the ground so it'll go up. It doesn't work. In physics simple. You want to hit a home run, Wrigley Field, you're going to hit up. Baseball player hits up at the ball to hit the clock, hit it out of the ballpark. Let's see a guy doing this to hit a ball, knock it out of the ballpark. And you can hit down and hit a little, little pop up shot, but you're not. You know, it's the infield fly rule coming up, hitting hit like that. So we don't want to hit the ball down. We're going to hit up on We've got the loft of the club is what's going to give you that backspin and then the little grooves in there. Boom, put the spin on the ball to get it to go up. Backspin makes it go up. But the, just what I want to tell you today is just step over here. Somebody was over here you want to shake hands. That's great. We, we just turn here. And everything's just natural. It's not, there's no effort. There's no stretching. It's just a nice, easy turn. This idea about getting more width in your swing is nonsense. The width in your swing, this is a fixed length. Your arm is not going to get any longer. This golf club, that shaft is not going to get any longer. So, that's a fixed length. Whether you put it way up here like this, or way down here, over here, wherever you put it, it's the same length. You, you can try to make it longer. But even then, down here, that just looks like a real powerful position to be in? I don't think so. The trick to hitting the ball far is this turn. Reach over here shaking into somebody or even reaching back here to touch somebody. So you get a big shoulder turn. If you turn your back to the target, if you look at the old films of Sam Snead, he turns his back to the target completely. He's still looking down here at the ball. It turns. We don't pick the club up like this. We don't pick it up. We're not going to pound a nail into the ground. We're not going to pound a stake. You're putting a tent up. This is the way to put your tent up. Pound a stake in the ground. We want it to go off ball. Turn here and turn toward the target. We want to throw our hands away from us. So my hands come to me on the back swing. We go away from me on the forward swing. I hit the inside quarter of the ball up. Boom. The ball goes up. The way to get the speed, it's like an ice skater does. What does an ice skater do when they spin? put their hands in real close. In physics, it's called conservation of angular momentum. It's the most un misunderstood thing in golf. It works like this. If I have my hands out here, so it's just like the ice skater, I go slower. So if I'm reaching away from me like this, I can't turn as fast. If I, this is a fixed length. If I put it out here, I go slower. If I have my hands close to me, I go faster. Just like the ice skater. So the closer my hands are, and this is all to my body, the faster I can go. 
and the faster I can go the farther I hit the ball because it's all about creating speed. Alright, so we want to turn here, simple turn of the body, just a simple turn of your body. There's no stress, there's no t tension involved, it's just a simple turn. Reach over here. How are you, nice and relaxed? Go over there. My hand, I always take goes under this way and that way. Throw the thumb up in the air. Boom. Feel like the daylight's out of a ball. Close up all this upper body stuff. The scrapers throw on refrigerators and picking up heavy items, which feels very powerful, but it has no no place in a golf swing. Try it, I think you'll like it. It'll make a big difference in your game.